all remember Puma from The Lion King, right? Well, I just so happen to have his older brother right here with me. It's the K-Bar Heavy Duty Warthog Knife. How's it going, YouTube? This is Blade Girl back again with another knife review this week. I uh, hope you all had a great weekend. I sure did. Celebrated a birthday recently, and it was fun. So, uh, K-Bar, uh, not too long ago, came out with this heavy-duty warthog knife. And this bad boy may be an ugly bugger to look at, but the looks won't matter once you put this sucker to work. Uh, it can be treated for camping, backpacking, hunting. You can even throw it into your bug-out bag for emergency purposes. If you want something that has a high tolerance for abuse, edge holding ability and strength, this warthog is it. Lots of people have claimed that this can be a compilation of a hammer, a knife, a machete, all wrapped into one amazing tool. Uh, so definitely a survivalist knife. It is full tang and a quarter of an inch thick at the back of the blade and through the handle. So talking about the handle, it's comfortable, has a no-slip grip, and a cool feature right back here. Um, as you can see, it has the leather cord right here that you can slip on through and attach it to your belt for a better secure uh, attachment, or um, this hook feature right here. And I guess that's to uh, keep your grip safely on the handle. That's the best I could come up with for that, but I'm pretty sure it's just to have a safe grip on the handle so it doesn't slip out of your hand. And the, let's see, the blade itself has been tested for quality and durability. Um, as far as that goes, it's 100% synthetic and the grind is flat. Uh, keep in mind about that. Uh, handle material is the uh, TPR and the steel is SK5 or, for those that don't understand what that means, it's... Uh, 1085 carbon steel. The overall length stands at about 12 and a quarter inch long. The only downsides I have with this blade is that it doesn't come with a butt cap or guard and there's no pocket clip. I mean yeah you got the sheath and all but it's cra it's like a crappy sheath and it moves a lot when you're walking around. Um, it's also extremely difficult to fasten so when you're walking around, be careful with this. I mean, it's it's flimsy. It jingles and dangles a lot. I mean, look at this thing. It's it's crap. So my suggestion for you guys is when you or if you want to buy this knife, definitely get a new sheath for it. Um, so just be aware about that when you purchase this knife. Just purchase another sheath for it. I mean, it does take some getting used to, but for now, it'll do its job. So, um, along with that, this K-Bar reminds me of a smaller, tightly compacted BK2. But it wouldn't be put to work, and I wouldn't expect it to hold up like a BK2, if that makes any sense. Uh, nevertheless, this is a heavy-duty tool, and would serve you well as a survival knife. Um, now, when it comes to batoning with this warthog, I suggest you don't do that. Um, K-Bar stresses that you don't baton with their knives, but that hasn't stopped reviewers from doing so. Um, I've seen knives snap in half while batoning, and I've seen knives cut straight on through the wood with no problems. So I guess it would depend on what knife you're using, but with this one, I wouldn't do that. So I guess if you'd like to try batoning with this blade or with another K-Bar, do it at your own risk. Um, if K-Bar suggests you shouldn't, and you still do and it breaks, you're out of a good knife. So uh, the choice is yours. Good luck with that, but I've decided not to. And I, at the beginning, I thought I was going to use this for throwing, but I've decided not to because I like a knife that's like more blade heavy when it comes to you know throwing. This one is definitely handle heavy. Um, it is made in Taiwan, um, but that don't let that uh, scare you away. This is a very decent blade. Um, I'm excited to test this one out for next week. 
I will be doing that along with a Warhawk knife. And um, I think that's it for this week. So would I buy this blade again? Yes, yes, and yes, I would buy this blade again. Um, extremely reliable, I think. Very, very durable. Uh, perfect for camping and backpacking and all that other good stuff. So yeah, definitely a purchase one more time. Um, again, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next week with a test trial video of one of my other knives along with this one. And uh, again, take care and thanks so much. See you later.